So you want to learn more about Rockwell for indoor cannabis production? We've come to the right place here on Tobacco University where we're going to explain just that. All right, let's get into Rockwell for indoor cannabis production. First off, there's many potential uses for Rockwell. Uh, it can be used at any stage of growth of cannabis production, not just clones like a lot of people associate it with. Some growers prefer to use it only in the early stages, but it can be used to full, for full term. Other growers will grow plants in it for the entire growth cycle. So you may choose to use it for only a portion. You may choose it to use it for the entire growth cycle. It's entirely up to you, but I'm going to provide you with some of the details about it so you can make an educated decision. So first off, start with the basics of just kind of like what is Rockwell um, in general? Well, Rockwell is a lightweight substrate made from spinning molten uh, uh, balsic rock into fine fibers. It's commonly used in hydroponic growing setups, especially in commercial settings. It's formed into a range of cubes and blocks and growing slabs, large slabs, and also granular products. So because it is kind of this uh, stone wool or rock wool kind of insulation-like material, uh, it can be made, it's because manufactured, it can be made into different shapes, sizes, to allow it to be utilized for different parts of the growth cycle. So what are the properties of it? Why are so many people uh, using it? Well, Rockwell can have good balance between the ability to hold water and still provide sufficient aeration for the roots. Hydroponic setups often use Rockwell because it has a slow drain time, which allows for feeding and watering, and it can be also be very specific. Here we see a Rockwell cube sitting on a bed of perlite uh, with a cannabis clone in it. So again, all these are uh, reasons why Rockwell is so popular with many growers. So what are some of the benefits? You know, so we look at some of the properties, some of the advantages. Well, that natural balance between holding water and aeration, uh, aeration are conducive for root growth and development. And who doesn't want bigger, better roots? Lightweight, which can reduce the shipping expense and provides a sterile growing environment. So not only can it ship fairly easily, because it's lightweight, does take up some volume, but as far as the weight isn't a, a great deal. And it can also provide a ster sterile growing environment, which is great to reduce the chance of uh, implementing any sort of disease, especially on the early stages of growth, but really for all stages that it's being utilized in. However, you do want to watch out for um, al al the algal growth here that can occur in the sense of with water and holding water and light uh, with grow lights or sunlight that can also cause algae to grow. Also, disposal can be an issue due to the fact that it really doesn't decompose or break down all that well. So you want to be thinking about the kind of full grow cycle there of, okay, if I'm going to use it here, where is it all going to end up and can I dispose of it properly? Uh, some options for Rockwell, as I said, it's, it's kind of a uh, manufactured product, so it can be offered in a variety of situations and sizes. There's some small little starter plugs. There's some slightly larger cubes. There's bigger uh, blocks, and then we get into the slabs. So some of the companies start with little starter plugs, and we can see here is a larger cube. Well, that starter plug will fit very easily into that cube. Then that cube can be placed on a block, and that block can be placed on a slab, so it can allow those roots to fully expand and helps minimize root disturbance and allow this product to be used for the entire grow cycle. Now, how would you prepare Rockwell? Is this something you are considering? We want to always check what they manufacture, but at the very least, Rockwell will need to have a pre-soak in water before you're going and planting in it. Some needs to be soaked in water to help regulate uh, the pH. Some can just be soaked in regular water. It's still, however, a good idea to check the soaking water's pH before, during, and after the rock will soak to help ensure that this will not be an unexpected stress on the plants and limit their nutrient availability. Lastly, uh, that water soak target. So I said about soaking your water. Well, what should target should you be? Well, depending if you're using Rockwell for the propagation or growth cycle, the targets may vary slightly. However, in general, it should be shooting for a pH around 5.3 to 5.5, a parts per million content of around 400, a temperature around 65 to 70. Typically, a soak time of two to five minutes will help ensure the air bubbles are removed and full absorption has occurred. We can see that point of saturation here and the grower here taking the pH reading. All good things that are shown in the picture and all good things you should be implementing in the practice if you're looking at growing your plants in Rockwell.